What's up guys, welcome back to Iron Mustang. On today's episode, we're gonna do something a little different. We are going to be checking out my new US General Series 3 72 inch toolbox. Kinda outgrew the last box, so it was time to upgrade. This one's a little different than what we usually show on this channel. So leave me a comment if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. So getting this off and into your shop can be an adventure if, like me, you do not own a forklift. Now they do give you this uh, super cool skateboard ramp. Um, probably give this to my son. If you can get the pallet onto the ground, I'm sure this thing works awesome. But I, however, could not. So I got three pieces of advice for unloading this box by yourself without a forklift. One, take out all the drawers. Two, I advise that you leave the charging drawer in place. Um, you probably really could take it out, but that one drawer just by itself probably doesn't weigh too much. I think there's two screws on the back to disconnect the outlet from the box. But when you're trying to take it out on the back of your truck, just keep in mind the, uh, the charging section of it is connected to the back of the box. So that one doesn't just slide out like all the other ones. I highly advise when you take the drawers out, when you're putting the drawers back in, um, especially on the bigger drawers is definitely a two person job. And these drawer slides, when you're ready to take them out, I would have the drawer slides slid all the way to the front and then put the drawer up against them and slide them in. Because if you try to do the drawer slides with them out, I actually ended up bending one of the little rails just a little bit. They're really hard to line up. And uh, I was able to fix it back with a pair of pliers real quick. It's just fine. But um, definitely for me, keeping the drawer slides all the way inside the box, putting the drawer up to it and sliding it in was the way to go. So let's go over some of the features of the new box. First one is it has a full length latch. So now you can open it from either side of the drawer. You just reach your hand underneath there, pull it over to the left side, and it will release the latch that's on the uh, right side of all the drawers. Next, it features a charging drawer, which does have a USB 3 as well as regular USB. These are a 14 drawer setup, which offer 29,700 cubic inches of storage. So there's my current box that we're using. I'm kind of curious to see how everything is going to fit in this box. And that's kind of going to kind of dictate whether I either get the hutch or the extra drawers on top. And down on the bottom here, we have a deep power tool drawer, which is intended to hold your drills and any of your bulky items. It's got six inch casters. Now I got this in here empty. It, rolled really nice. Uh, the verdict's out on how well it's gonna roll completely loaded up. However, it does come with some rather beefy casters, so I'm fairly confident these are gonna work quite well. Every drawer features full extension drawer slides. Really nice to getting to your items that are on the back of your toolbox. And it features two double wide drawers for your extra long items. Features a single locking point for all the drawers. All the hardware is in black. The handle's pretty nice. One thing I like, because it's a pain in the butt when you have to do it yourself, every one of the drawers comes with a nice drawer mat that's already pre-cut to the size of the drawer. Came with four sets of keys. Also came with a little bit extra hardware. Not really sure what that was for. I guess they're just extras. Um, even down in the comment section if you know where they went and I forgot to put them somewhere. Uh, and when it's time to lift this out of the back of your truck, you're gonna need a minimum of two people. I'd probably recommend realistically using three or four. So lastly, before I get to loading this box up, I want to point out I paid for this box. This was not given to me. Um, I like the color. I think the finish is great. I'm pretty, pretty happy with the quality of it. And uh, I don't think for the price I paid for it, it quite feels like a Harbor Freight purchase. However, I am going to say that the price I paid for this and the quality that I feel that I got, I think it was still a good value. It was a box that was the size that I needed, but something at a price point that I was also able to semi-realistically afford. So leave me a comment if you enjoyed watching this video. Hopefully this helped you figure out if this is a box for you or not. And as always, thanks for watching.